So imagine this, let's say you're looking for a side hustle, right? You're looking at some of these gig apps and you're studying videos, maybe videos like this on the channel, and you pick a niche, you pick an app or apps, you start driving, you get activated and you're starting to get pretty good. You know, you're starting to master these app or apps and then something happens and you get booted off of the app, AKA deactivation. Well, it's not good. I'll tell you this. As someone since 2015, since I started, I've been deactivated from several apps. And in this video, I want to give you not only my experience, but you know, another warning about deactivations this time with an app that's getting a lot of attention. It's pretty hot right now. And that's Amazon Flex. So check it out. This is my standings. It's called on Amazon Flex. And right now, the time of filming this video, it is fair. So how does that sound in the whole spectrum of what you think they're measuring for? So I say fair now because yeah, now it's fair. It didn't even used to be fair. It used to be the lower tier, which was at risk. And I mean, it's exactly what it sounds like. That is the lowest tier on Amazon Flex. And in fact, let's look at their frequently asked questions here to define this whole standings thing. Now, I want you to pay attention to this entire video. It doesn't matter if you're driving for Flex or not. This is still gonna pertain to you. Just a warning again about deactivations here. So it says there are four standings. Fantastic, great, Fair, which I'm currently at, and at risk, which I've been at. And then of course it says the majority of everyone else, aka delivery partners, have a great or fantastic standing, which I still don't have, which means that they are providing excellent service to our customers. And as you guessed, if you have really an at risk on Flex, then yeah, you're at risk of what? Deactivation. So with respect to Amazon Flex, let's go over my standings and my low points, areas of opportunities here, because obviously you want to have a fantastic rating on all of these. And yeah, I don't agree with all of these. So scrolling through here, delivery completions, your standing has dropped due to a recent issues in this area. I have nine issues. Check out the advice below for ideas of how to avoid future issues. So check it out here. Again, this is a delivery completions. I have what? One, two, three, four, five, six, including one recently. September 15th of 2021, it says one of 34 packages that you picked up were not delivered to the customer. Now, here's the thing. I remember that shift. If you want to watch that shift, I'll leave a card linked above. But these are packages that are literally unable to be delivered. I mean, it's not like I just chose to be lazy and I'm like, all right, I'm packing it in. I'm just chucking this package somewhere or even just returning it to the warehouse. No, these are all packages that were undelivered. So think about maybe a private residence. Okay. You know, some of these shifts I was delivering back in San Diego. So there's a keypad entry to, you know, these fancy homes, right? So I couldn't get into the keypad. Calls and texts went unanswered by the customer. And more recently, this recent shift, there was an office building that I was prompted to deliver to after hours, after 5 p.m. And I know uh, one of our team members made a great point of why would this even be assigned on my package route when specifically the customer's notes said, don't try to deliver after 5 p.m. It's an office building. So nine issues here. And again, this is really not at fault. And you're going to see why that's important later on here. So delivered and received five issues here. We see one, the top listing, two of the 63 deliveries you made were not received by customers. Now, this is a little different. Again, let's scroll back here. The other one says packages that you picked up were not delivered to the customer. And this one say the deliveries you made were not received by customers. So this is communicating, hey, I marked this was delivered, but it wasn't received by the customer. So I remember a few of these shifts in the past. Again, at the time it was in San Diego. So this, I will say, was an area of opportunity for me. I just didn't think about this. So pay attention to this. So when you're delivering these packages, envelopes for Amazon Flex, 100%, if you can, obscure it from road view. If there's plants on the patio, the front door, 
if there's fencing, if there's other packages, if there's decorations, anything you can do other than just sticking it right in front of the door. I don't have a ton of knowledge on the back end system as far as the consumer facing platform for Flex. But what I imagine is happening is that customer might report, hey, you know, this wasn't safely dropped off, I'm guessing here. But I mean, this kind of explicitly says the deliveries were not received by customers. So there's another concern from me. Was this just straight up theft after I delivered? Or I hope not. Was this a fraudulent claim from customers? I'm not saying these specific ones were. But how does Flex combat, again, fraudulent claims from customers just trying to get free stuff. Now, something very interesting with this here, and we're going to move on in a second. It says, keep up the good work. You haven't had any issues in this area in your most recent deliveries. Over time, the issues shown above won't impact your standing as you make more deliveries. The thing is, not all of these, I guess, infractions say that. That's pretty interesting. Nextly, on-time deliveries. I have three issues here. Again, we're talking about a couple of years ago, and it's still listed on my account. And again, my last point, I'm hoping that all of these aren't still affecting my accounts. I mean, years later, come on, Flex. But it says one of four deliveries that you made were delivered late to the customer. Now, Amazon says they take into account things like traffic, whatever it is, you know, a slow warehouse when you go pick up the packages here. But I mean, you probably know when you're out there in the real world, real world delays happen. So I'm a little concerned about this, but I don't have, you know, a ton of frequency of these late deliveries. Nextly, on a time arrivals here, it says your standing has dropped again due to one of these issues here. And in 2019, I didn't show up on time to one of my blocks scheduled. Now, honestly, I mean, I know this was in 2019, but I can't remember ever being late to a block. So it's, you know, it's the pickup block of the warehouse. So you'll schedule it, obviously, and then you drive to the warehouse first to get your packages and your routes. Again, I'm a pretty punctual person. Honestly, you can uh, check in 15 minutes early to the shift, and I'm usually waiting because I'm even earlier than that. So I imagine this is when I haven't done a lot of shifts in a while or something came up. I don't know. Now, this one was an error here. This is something that I'm sure that I've done here. It's on time cancellations. So 2020, we have an instance you canceled one block after the cutoff time. Now, obviously, things can come up here. So check out what Amazon says about canceling blocks here. So it says sometimes plans change. If you think that you'll be late or unavailable for a delivery block, you accept it. Go to calendar in the Amazon Flex app, tap the day of the scheduled block and tap forfeit block at least 45 minutes before the block starts. If you accept a block that starts in less than 45 minutes, you have five minutes to cancel. So that feature, I've actually used that a lot, cancellations, and it does not hurt your profile as long as you're within that window. So let's say I schedule a block for tomorrow, right? And then the day rolls around. Now, maybe there's really good bonuses on another app because, I mean, there's a lot of effort sometimes for the pay that you get on Flex. So there's a better offer here. So it's, again, really easy. I click on calendar, click on the day, which would be the current day, and I slide forfeit a block. But again, just one circumstance where I didn't do that within that time window. Okay, so overall, this whole standing thing, how does this work here? There were some questions that I did find helpful in the Flex app that I didn't necessarily well easily find on the desktop version. So simply, you know, how do I get a standing? You'll get a standing about 48 hours after your first block or delivery. Now, this one's important. It says, when will my standing update after each block? And it states, your standing will be updated every day. Every time it updates, it will reflect deliveries you completed up to two days ago. Deliveries you made within the past two days won't be included. You can see when your standing was last updated in your standing details. And interestingly, check out this next point. It says, there is a lot we consider when we determine your standing, and it takes us a couple of days to gather all the information we need. 
customers can report missing packages days or weeks after the delivery. So you could see your standing change even if you haven't delivered recently. Thanks for your patience. Now, other than your standing, is there anything else that affects whether you can deliver for Amazon Flex? And this is very important because, again, there's a lot of attention on Flex. It seems like a hot app right now, especially with the holidays coming up. There's going to be plenty of shifts to drive for. So while your standing is a big part of whether you are eligible to drive with Amazon Flex, there are other issues that can impact your eligibility for the program, including... Number one, if you're not courteous, respectful, and professional towards customers, other delivery partners, or station operators, I think that's pretty common knowledge, right? Number two, if you do not acknowledge and pick up all your assigned orders matching your confirmed block. Again, if you're not making an effort to complete your entire shift in the entire amount of packages and envelopes, again, I think that's kind of common sense as well. Number three, if you don't follow all steps required during an age verified delivery. Now that is important. If you have anything that does require age verification, and I remember this on the now discontinued Amazon restaurants, but still, if there's anything with delivery that requires that, make sure you're getting in an ID. It's going to ask you to take a picture usually of the front and the back and usually a signature as well. So make sure you're not going against that terms of service. And again, number four says the same thing. Don't violate the terms of service. Now, remember I told you, and yeah, my flex profile had the lowest rating at risk. So what does it mean if my standing is at risk? If you don't improve, you may no longer be eligible to deliver with Amazon flex to learn how to improve. Look at your standing details to learn which areas need improvement. Now I'll tell you this. My status sat at at risk for a while, simply because I didn't take any shifts. So the duration there doesn't seem to be an issue. If you're not going to deliver for a while, it doesn't seem to matter. Now, additionally, these are manually reviewed, the deactivations. So if you don't improve, if you're not safely delivering packages, if you're not on time to your shifts or really anything that we've detailed prior, then it is going to be manually reviewed by a Flex team member. And I'm just going to give you my opinion on this one. I'm going to feel like they're going to be more stringent and they're going to have no problem deactivating you if you have repeated offenses. Now, of course, that's not universal, but a warning to you on any app here, follow the terms of service. If there's areas of improvement here, if they tell you, hey, we don't want you to do this, if there's any warnings like this, like the at-risk profile here on the dashboard, then look at the areas of improvement, make those tweaks. So again, you don't lose the app or the niche as an option to make money. So I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions on Amazon Flex, definitely post that down below in the comments. And if you did get value in this video, definitely drop me a like. And you can also click or tap screen here for my newest video, as well as a video recommended for you. And I'll see you in the next one.